each of you being here. It's such an exciting time uh, in the city yet again. There are so many uh, exciting things happening in the city of San Francisco, and we're thrilled to be a part of it. Uh, my name is Eric McDonald. I have the privilege of serving as the Chief Operating Officer for United Way of the Bay Area, uh, and it's my pleasure, again, to welcome you all here today. Uh, we're so excited to be able to launch this year's 2015 uh, Youth Jobs Plus Employer Challenge. That's where you say, yay. As we get started, let me just pause to say, are we not in an amazing space? So we want to thank our partners and hosts of the Asian Art Museum. Let's thank them very, very much. We are thrilled to be here. Not, not that City Hall isn't a cool space, but this is really cool. <laughs> and so we're grateful to be here. Um, each year, uh, we've had the opportunity to launch in partnership with Mayor Lee and several other partners that I'll name in just a moment, uh, this exciting opportunity to engage young people. Uh, and the goal, while the job itself and the internship itself is really, really important and valuable, part of what we're trying to help and support are young people connecting the dots of opportunity, their educational pursuit and attainment, uh, and, and then the future. Uh, for them in terms of life and career. Uh, and so, again, the role that you play, either as a sponsor, uh, as a provider or for, of a job or an internship, is incredibly invaluable. So before we start naming names, because I will have to do that in just a moment, let me thank you all. Yay, please, one more time. Now, if you think back to your first job, uh, you will know that it took uh, some special person, a, a uh, employer, a supervisor, someone who uh, mentored you, you know the value and the importance uh, of that opportunity for young people. Uh, and many of us are in roles that we are in today because of that first opportunity. And that's what we want to have this program create for our young people. Uh, since 2012, we've had the opportunity again to create over 19,000 opportunities of jobs and internships. That's another yay moment, by the way. And so the other thing that this project is a, a reflection of is great partnership of public and private and nonprofit. And so now I need to begin to name names just to say some thanks. Uh, first, uh, obviously, to the office of the mayor, um, the Department of Children, Youth, and Their Families, and the director, Maria Sue, is here. Some, there's Maria right there. The Office of Economic and Workforce Development, both Todd Rufo and Thomas Myers. Yay for them. Uh, and then our San Francisco Unified School District, uh, and I know Commissioner Heidi Mendoza McDonald is here. Are there other? There's our school district partnership back there. Yay, thank you. <laughs> and then, of course, to, to my team members at United Way, again, being uh, critical partners in this whole initiative. In addition to those partners, we also have a wonderful set of, because we're rich in this regard in San Francisco, so we have an amazing group of nonprofit partners who are providing supports to young people, getting them ready for the opportunities that we create for them. And so I need to name them very quickly. Uh, we have um, Chalk Community Youth uh, Center of San Francisco. We have Guardian Scholars, Lyric. We have Mission Economic Development Agency. We have our OMI Excelsior. Um, Beacon Center, we have Success Center of San Francisco, and of course, Young Community Developers. Let's give it up for our nonprofit partners. And then we have partners who, in addition to where appropriate creating jobs and internships and opportunities in their space, who are also gracious and generous funding partners, uh, our corporate partners, and so let me thank them quickly. Uh, we have PG&E, J.P. Morgan Chase, we have B of A, Wells Fargo, Re Enterprise Rent-A-Car, um, SMG, excuse me, and Ernst & Young. Let's thank them. And there are several other sponsors that are named both on screen as well as on our boards around the room, and so we appreciate all of them. Also want to thank, we have a national partner, uh, and that is uh, City Foundation uh, and Cities for Financial Empowerment, because they selected San Francisco as one of 10 cities across the country that they're providing funding uh, for work experience opportunities of youth in San Francisco in partnership with the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. So let's thank City Foundation. And then one more special shout out 
uh, back on the uh, 11th of April, we had a wonderful youth resource fair uh, where we brought over 500 young people into Moscone Center and provided for them uh, opportunities for uh, resume review and mock interviewing and soft skills training and how to interview and how to represent yourself and how to make yourself the brand that you then sell to others. It was a fantastic experience. And one of the core, uh, both sponsors and representatives in the room that day was Starbucks. Starbucks brought over 80 volunteers into that space um, to support us and then had the audacity to hire over 60 young people that day. So please, let's give it up to Matt Green. Uh, and Starbucks. So we are well on our way uh, towards creating wonderful opportunities for young people. Four years ago, uh, President Obama issued a challenge to corporate America uh, saying we needed to create opportunities for disconnected opportunity youth. Uh, and while the challenge was to corporate America, Mayor Lee raised his hand uh, and said, we are a city that is committed to our young people creating pathways of opportunity, ensuring that they get both world-class education and then opportunities to live, work, and grow families here in San Francisco. Uh, and so it was with that vision uh, that we were able to launch what is now Youth Jobs Plus. And so it's my pleasure to introduce and welcome Mayor Ed Lee. Thank you, Eric. Uh, it's great to work with you in United Way again. Uh, Good morning, everybody. Well, it's, it's wonderful to be here, and I want to just give a special thanks to Jay Shu at the Asian Art Museum for opening up one, this beautiful room for us to use. I know he and Luis Herrera have been great partners with me. Luis, of course, is our uh, public librarian, and these two magnificent buildings at Civic Center uh, have an opportunity to work with me at City Hall to really uh, celebrate what we're about to uh, in the next month, the 100 year anniversary of our city hall. But I wanted to give you a taste. I know, yeah, it'd be great to be at the library, it'd be great to be at city hall. I thought that uh, I would welcome you here to this room that I think is a pretty special room because Jay would be the first one to welcome you to say, you are uh, the live version of our terracotta soldiers this year. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to use this room for, because of its beauty, uh, as a way to just kind of indicate my deep level of appreciation for the sponsors, for the employers, for the foundations, uh, the community-based organizations, our own city agencies and departments are all coming together and collaborating with me about a goal that's very near and dear to me, and that is employing our youth. Uh, this is so important, and you know already how much that I spend with the school district on, uh, in fact, we're just going to spend a lot on the school district. We're having that announcement made to the tune this year, I think, Hydra, of $355 million to our school district. You get a little precursor uh, in, in our support for our school district uh, and its students. But, you know, during the summer, and in fact, year-round now, uh, I've had a passion to make sure that our youth are earning their way forward. And for me, it's been kind of the simple story uh, that I wanted to again share with you. And uh, annually, I think you hear from me often, and I know the employers who've been with me hear me often, but just as passionate every year, is just take that special moment, uh, that one quick minute, uh, Sometimes close your eyes, because for me, it's a long ways away from remembering who helped me get my very first job. Uh, and it wasn't uh, something that I was spoon-fed. It was something that I tried to earn. Uh, in fact, I tell you, my, fir my very first job wasn't really... I was living in Seattle. It's a pretty urban setting. My very first job was a non-urban job. I actually went on a farm uh, when I was a junior high school, uh, middle school grade student. And I got, uh, you know, people to connect me up with what they were doing. And I thought, God, that'd be fun because, yeah, I, you know, I, I can work in restaurants. I can do all this stuff that I, that I see every day. But my very first job was, was on a farm, and that's where I got to drive a truck. Uh, I destroyed about 25 cabbage heads. 
uh, in, in trying to deal with a, a truck. But it, it was, uh, and, and I worked with a farmer whose every fourth word was a curse word. So he, uh, Mr. Tanaka, he was really uh, infamous for instructing us properly <laughs> as to how to get our bushels full of beans and, and strawberries and uh, corn and all the other things. But I learned a lot. I learned discipline. I learned open uh, farm area. Uh, I know that uh, in San Francisco, we have a program uh, and very strong policy and support for urban agriculture. Uh, we have a gardening program that reaches out to many of our transitional age youth uh, to allow them to use the incredible farm that we have up uh, in San Bruno area and train them in skill sets. And uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of people use language that uh, is kind of urban street language. But in that association with an employer where you're earning your way, you're working hard, you're sweating, but you're having fun because your comrades are doing the same thing, uh, that I, I learned to have fun on jobs and I learned to respect everybody else's work uh, and to be part of a group setting. Uh, these are skill sets that at a young age are invaluable to create that basis of discipline. So think for a moment. Uh, on your very first job, you great employers of San Francisco or you wonderful nonprofit leaders or you city agency folks that are going to help me uh, create thousands of jobs uh, for this year, year round, is think back uh, on your first time and kind of the association that you had with people, the quality uh, that allowed you to think that you're going to work your way up, you're going to work your way out, you're going to work your way forward uh, with your education, uh, the kinds of skill sets that you want others to have or to enjoy. That's what I want to bring back on this today's moment when we ask you to make a commitment uh, with us on a variety of things. Uh, because Jobs Plus has been something we've thought about through and through that it isn't just the job. It isn't just getting the paycheck. What I'm emphasizing this morning is, you know, you go every day and, and I, I, I get to kind of do this on a weekly basis with my tours and businesses is try to find those places where people really enjoy what they're doing and enjoy the people around them and create associations that will allow them to be very successful. This is the workplace environment that we want to create. Uh, these are the goals of helping folks that got a lot of barriers uh, to get them not only skill sets. What we've done before this day with uh, Eric's help, with the school district's help, with technology companies' help, uh, is that we forged an opportunity to gain some uh, skills in the application process. Uh, putting your resume online, uh, how to tie a tie very quickly in a competition, uh, how to look somebody in the eye and say, I'm so-and-so and I want to help your company be successful. These are disciplines that go along with just getting the paycheck. It's, it's how you present yourself. It's how you tell your story about who you are. It's about how to gain that uh, supervisorial support that you need so that you can be successful in the workplace and then create a foundation for you and your family. I have a broad vision. Uh, that is that these jobs will help our youth not just occupy time and space. It really is job skill sets. It's association with each other on the workplace. It's understanding everything from the chain of command to how you treat customers to how you really can add value to what a company is attempting to seek by creating opportunities there. And in this jobs, uh, my staff really worked hard to make sure I wasn't just numerically oriented this morning. Although, I have permission to tell you that last year, we set a goal of 7,000 jobs, and we exceeded that goal of 7,500 jobs with everybody's help. What we want, though, more and more, is the stories about uh, people's transition, how jobs affect them and their families, 
how they use those jobs uh, to really find avenues of success for them and their families. This is incredibly important to any city in the entire state of California. But for San Francisco, I think it's a special story because I think we have special employers who are regional, who are forward thinking, uh, who want that diversity be reflected in their workforce, and who use that diversity to gain a huge international market share of uh, good policies that we want to have. And that today, I have to say that most companies who work with us are pretty successful. And uh, more than the bottom line, they're helping me uh, create a prosperity of which we can share with many struggling families who find it more difficult uh, to afford uh, the city, uh, but that I'm doing my part. So it's not just this, the job situation here is one aspect of what we're doing in the city, but it's an incredibly important critical part of that because uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of time building the housing for the workforce. I want people to be able to earn their ability to afford a home uh, or rent in this city. And this is where you all come in. Uh, it's a special day for me because this is the way I'd like to begin the morning. Uh, when I can begin the morning by saying, uh, uh, I'm going to find a job for somebody, I'm going to help them access the skill sets that they need, introduce them to the world of our uh, corporate leaders, uh, our nonprofit leaders, and allow them to be successful. It's got to be a good feeling every morning, besides uh, coffee. Uh, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say this is I, I told Eric I was going to surprise him this morning. See, if, if, if we are successful, then I'm going to ask Eric uh, to do something for all of us this morning. Uh, he won't do it, but I just wanted to play with him this morning because there's a, there's a new dance uh, in, the, in our city, uh, a dance that I learned uh, and I saw very vividly, and now it's the talk of the uh, NBA, and that dance is called the flop. You know about the flop? You know, our MVP got fined $5,000 for doing a flop dance. There's nothing wrong with the flop dance. It's something that I want Eric to do <laughs> as he's gaining your attention for the jobs that you're committed to. He's going to do a flop dance. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. But anyway, because if he isn't, then I'm going to find him $5,000. But, it, but it, it, it's an incredible time in our region when we can have the NBA champs uh, hopefully NBA champs, play uh, with the Giants. They're inspirational. They're doing exactly what sports wants, uh, wants to have a role in society. That is inspiring all of us to do even better. And I, and I wanted that example of the flop because when you saw that, you just got to know that basket's going in, and why not dance and celebrate? Uh, because that's what I'd like you all to do, that when you achieve those job opportunities to our youth, I want you to do a flop dance. I want the kids to do a flop dance. They've earned it. They've earned the right to dance uh, in celebration of what we're all trying to achieve in this city. I'm going to start, of course, a national movement. I'm going to ask Mayor Libby Schaaf and Mayor Sam Licardo to do their flop dance tonight when I enter into a regional discussion with them about what we're all about as cities. I want you all to be celebrating this because we're already on our way. Uh, the numbers that I've heard, the commitments that I've already been hearing about are, are not going to reach our numbers. They're going to find these incredible stories, the stories like Jose is going to share with us in a few moments. But I want to just share with you my enthusiasm for helping people get their jobs. This is an incredible reason why we as a city exist. Uh, we are urban settings. Uh, we work with each other, we collaborate with each other, we philanthropize with each other, we try to use our success and kind of infect each other with the same level of success. That's what the Giants do. That's what Bumgarden's going to do to Kershaw today. <laughs> That's what we're going to do tonight, uh, you know, on, uh, on Houston. Uh, we're going to share that success and experience, but we want ultimately that people have 
this incredible feeling when they're in San Francisco in a region. Things happen. They happen for them, but they also need to do their part, uh, that they need to believe that they can be successful. So I want to say thank you to all of you for being here this morning. Uh, I, I am excited uh, to hear the commitments that will be launched today, but just as excited that ultimately you share with me the great stories that will come out all year long about how you really believe in the city and everybody's helping them succeed from our education uh, to the after school programs to when they're even kids uh, like Riley is to, uh, uh, to Steph, that when they're babies, we actually start college accounts for kids that age when they enroll in kindergarten. This is an incredible city. I'm honored to be your mayor. I'm honored to be here this morning uh, with all of our great employers. Thank you very much for being here today. <laughs> Flopping, huh? All right. She is the fierce advocate and champion uh, for those in need, a leader of the United Way of the Bay Area. Please welcome United Way's CEO, Ann Wilson. Well, she's going to flop. <laughs> no, I am not going to flop, and it is pretty hard to follow that, uh, Mr. Mayor, but thank you so much. Again, thanks to uh, Jay Shu and the museum for having us here. You know, this is my favorite pep rally of the year. This is the feel-good event of the year, and, uh, uh, you know, starting us out thinking about our first jobs, I, I can't help but say I remember so well uh, on at a joint in New Jersey on a highway, I remember the kind customer who allowed me to serve their hot dog on their lap as my first job. But uh, those moments of starting out uh, is where this program begins. Uh, at you in this room and your colleagues as employers who welcome in young people and give them a shot, a shot to learn in a place of support and energy, the nonprofit partners who are in this room who coach their young people to show up at your door, it's, an, it's a team effort. Uh, so the, the analogy to the Warriors is quite apropos, Mr. Mayor, because uh, we're all in. We're all in in this room, we're all in at the United Way of bringing the community together. And Mr. Mayor, your energy and enthusiasm for this program has been the wind beneath our sails. These four years have been extraordinary as how this community has come together. And why not? Because it feels great. So uh, I'm here just to add another touch of thanks and appreciation for our employers, our sponsors, our nonprofit partners, and to the young people. And to the city, I do want to say, Mr. Mayor, that in that big number of uh, over 7,000, a very big number are, are agencies and departments in the city itself. The city has created a welcoming place for young people. And besides the job experience, what that says to those young people about their city and how their city cares about them and their pathways to success means a great deal. And it's why we all come together today to, to cheer on this program. And Eric, whether he flops or not, maybe he might sing a song. See, I'll put him on that spot. I'll put him on that spot any day. Um, he might just sing a song. But uh, he's about to get you all on your feet to raise your hands and invite you to be a part of this and maybe add one more job, one more internship uh, to make sure that our young people in this city really have a great experience this summer. In a moment, uh, you will hear from uh, a young person who's been a part of this. Make him feel welcome. It's kind of scary to be up here sitting next to the mayor, but uh, uh, it, it's what it's all about. So uh, again, our thanks um, from the United Way, our board and staff, and my colleagues are around this room because we love this program. We love being a part of it. And my thanks to those of you in the room who are supporters of the United Way. You enable us to do this work for our community. So we thank you so very much.
what else should I do? So I'm going to dance. I'm going to sing. What I'm going to do now is introduce the next speaker. Um, she is the executive director of SF Made, one of our wonderful partners. Uh, and so please welcome Kate Sofas. Good morning. Well, I guess I stand between you guys and your excitement to pledge this year, so I'll be brief. But we support more than 550 manufacturers in the city. And, you know, I think a lot of what we stand for in our work in the companies that we engage with who make everything from mattresses to tea to beer to bags um, is a resurgence of making and craft and people working with their hands in this city and across the country. And I think we'd all agree the creativity that comes out of physically engaging with things is not only part of what makes San Francisco San Francisco, but I think part of what makes us all human. So our Youth Made program, which we launched two years ago in partnership with the city, is our own way of sharing that excitement that we have and the economic potential that is there for young people to engage in the maker manufacturing economy of this city. Over the last two years, we've placed 85 students into internships, and it would not happen but for the ecosystem that you all have created with the Jobs Plus program. Uh, the funding that supports the paid opportunity combined with the ability to enable more than 50 manufacturers, most of whom are quite small, to be able to have not only the opportunity to mentor and engage with a young person, but the opportunity to meet their next future awesome employee, which is what happens in many of these cases. And I think we'll hear in a moment from someone who works with a manufacturer and has found exactly that path. You are giving back twice. You're creating an opportunity for a young person and you're creating an opportunity for small businesses and small manufacturers in particular to really be at the table and be part of this city's ecosystem. So from our 550 manufacturers and all of the youth they have already employed but have really the potential to employ, thank you from the bottom of my heart and let's invest this year, thanks. Thanks, Kate, and thanks to the entire coalition of uh, SF Made partners. Uh, again, the partnership is really, really critical. So you've heard from several of us about our first experiences, and those are kind of dated. Uh, now we're going to hear from a recent um, experience uh, from an amazing young person who, in 2013, uh, through our Jobs Plus initiative, uh, was hired by Ghirardelli. And that's all I'll tell you about his story because Jose Tajpol can tell you the rest of his story. Please welcome Jose. Good morning. My name is Jose, and I uh, represent Ghirardelli today. I came to America when I was 14, and I ended up in the foster care system in the Bay Area. I spent my teenage years living with my foster family in San Francisco. I really want to give a thanks to my foster mom, Lynn Silver, who is in the audience today. <clears throat> uh, because without her love and support, I would not be the man that I am today. The way that she opened her home and her heart to me, a total stranger, has a huge and lasting impact on my life. At the age of 19, I left the foster, care, uh, the foster care system and went on my own, enrolling in college and trying to find a job. I turned out to be a pretty good student, but it was much harder to find a job. For two years, I tried to find work by applying online to companies and on Craigslist, but I never got a call back. I figured they were not hiring. Then two years ago at City College, I was referred to the Summer Job Plus program. The MatchBridge staff there helped me to rewrite my resume and interview practice with me. At MatchBridge, I learned that I was actually good at interviewing and it was one of my strengths, which I did not know before. They said I should just walk into stores and talk with managers. I did this and within a few days, I had three jobs offer. Then Summer Job Plus program got me interviewed with Ghirardelli. Much to my surprise, I was offered a job in the stores at the Ghirardelli Square. Since then, after being with, there for two years, I've been promoted up to the ranks to a, to a store supervisor. 
If it wasn't for Summer Job Plus, I probably wouldn't have this job that I love so much. I really believe in the Summer Job Plus program and I highly recommend it to any young person. I would like to thank my main gear daily manager, David Africa, with whom I have worked for the past two years. I'm very thankful for his guidance and support. He has been a great mentor and a teacher, and I owe him a lot. And I would also like to thank all the other managers at Gear Daily who have believed in me and helped me in, uh, along the way. <clears throat> Today, in addition to working as a supervisor at Gear Daily, I'm a full-time college student studying administration of justice, and hopefully one day I'll make it to the federal level where I can work and, and give my uh, give back to the country and the community who have given me so much. Currently, I show my appreciation uh, for the service that I received from the Summer Job Plus by helping other young people get jobs at Gear Daily. It's deeply satisfying to see the youth get jobs and start to have more confidence in themselves. Thank you, Mayor Ed Lee, and United Way for giving the opportunity to share my story today. Thank you. Wow. Again, that, that's what it's all about. And what I appreciate not only is the beginning, but the vision for at the federal level, right? Run the country. That's what it's about. Good job. One more time for Jose. All right, all right. We're, we're here. We're now and we're ready because you've heard from us. Now we want to hear from you. So we're coming down, Mr. Mayor and I. Uh, because we want to hear pledges. We've had the opportunity for many uh, committed partners in the initiative who've already made their commitments, couldn't be with us in the room. And so I believe we're going to have a number. There we are. Excellent. So those are commitments that we have to date, including that number of folks like Levi Strauss, who uh, that says 20. That's fantastic. And so we want to add your name, your company, your business to this list as we come down into the room. So if you have those forms, please complete them um, and get ready because I'm coming down. And then I, we need to see hands raised. So, so get ready, get ready, get ready. You ready? No, no, no. For real. You ready? All right. Sir, Mr. Carroll. My name is Kevin Carroll. I'm with the Hotel Council of San Francisco. On behalf of our members, we're pledging 25 summer internships and jobs in our hotels, welcoming our visitors to this great city. Wow. Woo! Very good. Fantastic. Well, that deserves a flop. That deserves oh! a flop right there. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He's killing me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> See, I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Go. Pledges. Pledges, please. Right here. Sir, good morning. Good morning. Hi, uh, my name is Mike Teeger with the AMC Metreon 16 Movie Theaters. We are now hiring. We have 15 jobs available right now. All right, Woo! very good. Thank you, AMC. Yes, ma'am. Please. Hi, my name is May Eden. I'm representing the Fairmont San Francisco, and we are pledging four jobs and internships to our youth this summer. At the Excellent. Fairmont. Nice. Wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, we got Commissioner Ike here. Oh, Mr. Mayor, uh, the California Academy of Sciences will pledge over 10% of our workforce, 63 jobs to youth. Excellent. Wow. 63. Woo! 63 Wonderful. jobs. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh. All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Sheila O'Mahony. I'm with UPS. UPS in the house. Brown. All right. We're pledging 25 jobs for youth this summer. We employ over 100 people a year in San Francisco, offering great opportunities for connecting the dots, Eric. Awesome. So here we are, 25 jobs for the summer. Thank you so much. Excellent. UPS in the house. All right. Brown. Here we go. Flynn Bradley from the San Francisco Airport Commission. We pledge 63 jobs this summer for young people to go along with the other 30 young people we have working with us now. All right. SFO, our airport. Excellent. Fine, hi. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> nice. hi. Thank you for All right. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremy Wallenberg with the San Francisco Citizens Initiative for Tech and Innovation. Um, through our members, we have 22 local tech companies uh, pledging 45 jobs this summer. So, Woo. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. 
Hi, I'm Nupur. I'm from Hilton Financial District, and we pledged three jobs this summer. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Hilton Financial, thank you. Excellent. Hi, I'm Claire with SF Made, and our businesses will be hosting 30 interns this summer. Incredible opportunities for our young people. Fantastic. Hi, I'm Sean Rosenmoss. I'm with the San Francisco Department of the Environment. We are going to have six youth this summer. Excellent. Six youth working on the environment. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Angela Milano. I'm with Ernst & Young, and, and EY is committing 140 summer internships for college students Woo. in San Francisco. Thank you. And, and we've also committed $5,000 to support the initiative as well. Thank you. Jobs and financing. Thank you so much. Mr. Mayor, my name's Jonathan. I'm representing Breeze here today. We're pledging 50 jobs this summer. Wonderful. 50 jobs with Breeze. That's a breeze, huh? All right, so we're up to 637. Oh, there's a few more on your, oh. Okay, here you go. Mr. Mayor, uh, thank you for hosting this event and thank you for your initiative. On behalf of Starbucks, we would like to pledge uh, hiring an additional 70 uh, employees this summer and new hires and couldn't be more thrilled. Eric, thank you for your partnership with United Way. Absolutely. 70, very good, thank you. Another good flop. That's another good flop. <laughs> Sir, you have a couple more on your side. All right. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. My name is Katerina. I'm representing the market today. We've been honored to join the San Francisco business community this year, and we would like to pledge 10 jobs and internships this summer. Woo! This is the market on market. Market on market. Got a visit. Excellent. One more over here. Good morning, my name is Monica Minowich and I'm representing the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency and we are, rep we are committing to 40 summer interns this year. Woo! That's MTA, thank you very much for your commitment. We got, we got, our, we got our representatives from our great world-class unified school yes. district. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'm Laura Moran, uh, Chief of Strategy and Development, and our CT uh, group, we're offering 100 summer jobs this summer in SFUSD, including one in my office. SFUSD! <laughs> For three! <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. My name is Renee Willette with the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. We believe that the youth and students in this city are among the top talent, and we are excited to pledge 1,000 summer opportunities oh today. Woo! <laughs> That's <laughs> yes! Woo! Woo! 1,000 jobs. There you go, sales. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm Ebony Freelix representing Salesforce, and we are happy and honored to announce that this summer we'll be committing to 25 summer interns. All right. Thank you, Salesforce. Thank you, Salesforce. Thanks for everything that you do, too. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Ed Florentino, Human Services Agency. We're pledging 341 jobs this summer. Excellent. HSA, Human Services, 340. Thank you. Flop there. Flop there. That's it. Are there any others? It's not too late. Oh, right here? Oh, one there. Yes. Well, you. the ladies in red, there's a reason why they're wearing red. Yeah. It's Target. Woo! <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, Love Jean and I are here to pledge 10 jobs. Excellent. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you Thank very you much. Target. Great Target. Mr. Mayor, Frank Lee from Public Works. Uh, we have programs that uh, hire youth for uh, summer internships for, for our architects and engineers, and we also have programs to hire youth to work with our um, street environmental service workers, and we pledge 250 for this summer. Woo! 250. Public sector stepping up large. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Luis Herrera from the San Francisco Public Library, our neighbors. And we were so inspired with Jose's stories that we can't help but add to our commitment. We have over 50 student workers working with us, but we're going to add an additional four to that. So congratulations. Thank it's great. Thank you. Great to be part of it. Right. Luis, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to the new Teen Media Center at the yeah. Public Library as well. Yes. Thank you. Sheriff. Good morning, Mr. Mayor and, and uh, honored guests. 
uh, the San Francisco Sheriff's Department in collaboration with the San Francisco Police Department as well as the PUC are pledging um, that we will receive and hire 300 uh, youth this summer, Woo! 150 um, men and 150 young women. Whoa, wonderful. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you so much for that commitment. Thank you. And what we love is the diversity of opportunities for young people, because there are many paths to success. Mr. Mayor. Here you go. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Mike Diorio, uh, on behalf of Enterprise Holdings, which is Alamo Enterprise and National Runner Car, uh, 32 jobs and internships. Excellent. Wow. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you, Enterprise. Others? It's not too late. Up, oh, yes, please, coming. Hi, I'm Christy Kaufman from Dare Fashion, a local small manufacturer in conjunction with SF Made, and we're hiring one intern. Yay! All right. Thank you so much. Every job matters. So thank you very, very much. Yes, please. Good morning. I'm Tina Tang with the San Francisco Planning Department, and we're hosting 21 interns this summer. Thank you so much. City Department stepping up large. Anyone else? Maria Sue. So thank you once again, Mr. Mayor, for your leadership and making sure that all of our young people have wonderful opportunities in the city. This year, once again, DCYF wants to continue to support this program, and so we will be funding 2,000 jobs for young people this summer. All right. Big flop. Just 2,000. <laughs> nice. Oh. Big flop. Big flop. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So we're up to 4,941 jobs and internships right now. Anyone else in the room? Anyone else in the room? It's not too late. We need one, we need two, we need 10. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, sir. Tom Hui, uh, Department of Building Inspection. Thank you, Mayor Lee. Uh, six years ago, we have zero internship. Uh, this year, we will commit 12. Good, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, more. we're going to get a lot of inspections out yeah. of that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right. So we are up to 4,953. Uh-oh, there's another hand. It's not too late. All right. All right. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my name is Billy Scott, and I'm the store manager at American Eagle Outfitters down on Market Street, and we are going to be committed to 10 young people for this summer. Woo! Right, wonderful. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? I know we had a few, not many, but I think we had a few young people who actually are looking for jobs in the room. Are you in the room? Raise your hand if you are a young person searching. No young people? So, Uh-oh, here's one shy hand. Come on, you can raise your hand. It's okay. Come here. I'm going to embarrass you just for a moment. What's your name? Anna. Anna. Do you know what kind of role you're looking for? Uh, I want to become a medical administrative assistant and in the techies industry. Say that one more time. Medical administrative assistance and in the techies industry. So, if you are an employer in this room looking for skilled talent, she's here in the room. All right? Thank you so much for being here today. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so we are well on our way to big numbers for young people. Again, it is about creating pathways um, to success, um, both economic and social, that young people have the opportunity uh, to live their dreams, and the, this is where it all begins. Uh, so again, on behalf of all of our partners uh, that help make up this, this great uh, ecosystem, I love that, Kate, thank you, uh, this great ecosystem of partners creating this space for young people to thrive, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And so as we invite Mayor Lee back up for final words, um, I, I, I didn't flop, but I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how it used to be. Sir. Uh, 
Eric, again, thank you for your sharing of your passion with United Way, with our SF Made, with Jose. Let's give them all a hand again for joining us. Incredible morning. This number will continue to grow. Again, I'm not permitted to go after a particular number, but it will grow. And when the word comes out and comes forth from this meeting to many other employers who are anxiously waiting uh, to announce their commitments, we'll share that with all of you. Uh, incredible, incredible show of support for our youth this morning. I personally thank you uh, for these commitments. Uh, on behalf of all of our youth, no matter where they're at, I'm going to spread the great word that our city is ready to do our part in helping everybody be successful in this city. Congratulations. Thank you for helping me make, continue to make this city successful for everyone. Appreciate it very much. Have a great day, and go flop! <laughs> <laughs>